Hey guys, this is my first impressions and unboxing of the Fire TV Stick by Amazon. So, this is their latest product which they've released early to all Prime members and luckily enough for me I was able to get one. And to be honest, it was a great offer, it was reduced and it seems to be a really good thing to buy. So firstly, let's peel off the sticker and actually see what we've got inside the box. So as you can see it's a very matte black box and it's very quite simplistic. But it doesn't really matter what the box is, as we're more interested in what's inside of it. So as you can see, you've got the dongle, as I'd call it, and also the remote. These two fins are, the, to be honest, the main fins you'll come into contact with. And they are the main parts, they are the main processing unit of the whole fin. So we take off the orange cover, you can then see we have the manual underneath, and then the limited warranty. So underneath that, you can see we've got the cable, this is just connect it to the power it's long enough for what you need then you've got the hdmi to hdmi kind of extender i'll go into a bit more detail a bit later about that but it's quite useful then we will also have the usb brick this is just a box standard usb to wall mount it's just you'll see have many of them if you've got an iphone or anything like that and then we also have the batteries which is great so here's what's actually in the box you get the remote which has got nice clicky buttons, it's pro it's built very well and it's very clean but all you need again as I was saying you get the HDMI extender which is good because if you don't if you have got your TV mounted on the wall then you're going to have a problem mounting a stick end onto it because it comes out about two inches then you've got the power brick which I'm positive Amazon will release multinational pins for this because it does seem to have multiple uses for it and if you don't use it for the TV if you don't use it for the dongle, which they recommend you do, you can obviously use it for something else as well, because it's just a standard USB to wall adapter. That's the cable, and here's the dongle. So it's very nice, very sleek, and quite simplistic. Uh, I'll compare it to my iPhone 6 here, and you can see it's actually really small. I mean, the iPhone 6 is quite a big phone, but it's not anywhere near the size of it. It's quite small. It's about the size of a large USB stick, I'd say. So let me just show you how you set up. Be honest it's a pretty simplistic setup it's just plug it in and then connect it up you just need to plug in the power switch and that's it so here's me loading it all up so you need to connect your you need to plug it in and turn it on you choose your language and then it will complain about an unsupported usb port if you're not using the power brick however it only recommends it i'm sure you'll be able to get away with it then you have to connect to wi-fi because that's how the stick works that takes a while it takes a bit of time for everything to set up and then you get this, I'd say, useful three-minute introduction video, which is quite good. It loads up everything and it shows you all you need. And here is me going through it. As you can see, it's very snappy. It's very quick. It's got these nice layout of the menu and stuff. It's kind of like Plex, the media server, which is what I'd recommend. It looks just like. So it's got all Prime Instant Video connected up to it. And it's very, very quick. I didn't get its stall or anything. It was just very quick. There was no, no buffering or anything like that. I mean, I've got quite strong Wi-Fi and it seemed to be operating perfectly fine. So, that's the conclusion to my first impressions and review. Give it a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe and tune in for more. Thank you and goodbye.